what is up guys, Jake on my tag design here and as of today I'm going to be pumping out these tutorials for you guys right now I have uh, the previous upload is rendering right now I'm going to be uploading both of these videos one, uh, one after another sorry uh, the one that's rendering right now is the previous video like I said I don't know why I'm explaining it just probably because it's not uploaded yet but uh, what I'm going to be doing for you guys here is giving you guys an in-depth text tutorial layer style um, tutorial pretty much I don't even know what I was going on about then but um, yeah I done one on my old channel which is really um, it's like simple most people know how to do it but after that and as I progressed doing this stuff on YouTube you tamper with different kind of things and you try to make stuff your own pretty much and I'm going to show you guys how I do text um, I'll try and find an example for you right here which should be hard to find alright so this is the background I made for triangle I'm also going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a background this style as well um, probably hopefully a bit better but that's the text I'm talking about right there um, Rated made it famous pretty much um, in the YouTube community but I'm going to show you guys how I do that and hopefully you guys um, like it Oh, yeah, I'm doing a dual com with that guy. Cool series. Alright, so what you're going to do is go File, New. I'm just going to go 1280 by 720 just because that's the standard size. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So you're going to right click the screen, go Fit on screen, just so it uh, pretty much expands everything. And you're going to want to use a dark grey background. And. I'm going to go brightness 15. So when you uh, go on the color picker here, there's a there's a it just says B and depends on what number you do for that. So that's 25 brightness and it goes up in brightness a bit. So I'm going to go 15 brightness. And I'm just going to go on my keyboard, go Alt backspace. It just fills up the whole uh, background pretty much. So now what you are going to want to do is, and before I get into this, uh, this is just a common mistake I find people do. When they do text like this, one of the main factors in my opinion is the drop shadow just because it enhances the text a little bit more when you're using the gradients and um, what some people do is they use light backgrounds and use drop shadows as well which I don't understand because if you're going to use a light background um, I don't see the point in using a drop shadow just because the drop shadow is like a dark and it pretty much just ruins the piece in my opinion so I just wanted to get that out of the way. So what you're going to want to do... Well, I don't even know what I said there. What you're going to want to do here, yeah, I said that, um, is use the same color for the text. So, brightness 15. And I'm going to try and find a decent looking text. That's one of the main things. Uh, you need a nice clean text to do this. So, I'll just use a stock one on Photoshop. But for the size, I'm going to go. 72, probably even 120 if my comp doesn't freeze. Yeah. Alright. So I'm just gonna and I'm just gonna type tutorial. And when I do this kind of text, guys, I do caps lock all of it. Um. Yeah. So that's a pretty good size there. 72. It's not too big. But it's it's a bit too small, but it's the general size for a background. Um. Yeah, I was just talking to that guy, we're doing a dual com, and I don't really like it when my parents are home, or when my dad's home when I'm doing tutorials and stuff, I don't know, it's just kind of weird, but whatever. Um, yeah, so you got your text here, you can't see it right now, and 72 does seem like a good size, and I'm going to need to try and highlight the text again. So that you, you can see that it's a nice text, um, so I'm just going to highlight that, and I'm going to choose a a stock text which I think I think Bebas Bebas Nui or I don't know how to say it, is a stock text so I'm just gonna go with that I don't even know if I have it yeah there it is alright so select Bebas I don't even know if that's the right way Bebas whatever and what most people don't know as you can see that text looks a little bit too tall so this is one thing I do to customize my text just a little bit. So you highlight the text and then you 
up here there's like a little folder click on it and there's a lot of different options here you can make it shorter you can spread out the letters a bit more um, you can just stretch out the text in general so all those stock are a hundred besides this AV one that's zero and we're gonna go a hundred so it's a bit tall so I'm gonna come over to this one where it's got the T where it um, stretches it down or makes it smaller so I'm just gonna do this here so it just looks a bit a bit shorter I don't know so it just looks a bit better because that that at the moment looks horrible alright so that looks good there so I'm going to uh, show the background again double click on tutorial actually I'm just gonna click on drop shadow just so I can see where it is and I'm going to zoom in alright so that's where you want to be so I'm going to double click and this is where everything happens pretty much so you click on gradient overlay and for this I'm going to do a red so you can see there I've already got everything done but I'm just going to show you guys how I do it uh, click on the black on the far left and this is going to be your darkest color so I've got red here and you slide all the way across as you can see that's dark light obviously um, I try to keep these tutorials for like somewhat advanced and beginners but it's really hard to teach um, beginners like these kind of things you just have to watch the video as much as you can so I'm going to slide all the way across and on, where it says B you're going to want to put that at 20 now I'm going to make another gradient just by clicking um, under the gradient bar pretty much and put that to th on location just here uh, put that at 35 on location and then click on that and I'm going to put the brightness to 40 now I'm going to go to 65 and I'm going to put the brightness up just a little bit more to 60 so the location for that was 65 and for this one you're going to want to go to around um, 80 so I'm just going to go 80 there and as you can see it's got a nice gradient dark up to light and it's not too light at the top so um, you can save these gradients just by clicking on new so just click that I've already got it saved there I think it's a bit different yeah it's just a bit lighter but this is alright guys so um, yeah that should be alright if you didn't get it just go back and watch it again uh, click OK now you're going to go to drop shadow uh, click on drop shadow again just so everything comes up change the blend mode to normal opacity 100 turn off use global light put the distance to zero and the size and spread is going to depend on the size of the text um, but for this I usually go 5 size and spread 10 just um, just so it gives a, a nice definition behind at the moment it doesn't look too good but after this last step and I might try a couple more different things if I feel the need to so what you're going to do next is click on inner glow um, change the blend mode to normal just for now it's going to change in a second though put the opacity to 100 and click on the uh, cream color here and go up to white change the size to 2 maybe even 1 alright yeah put it at 1 sorry and change the blend mode to overlay so that looks that looks pretty nice right there um, and if it's too if it's too um, strong you just change the opacity I probably go 75 and you can change the range as well but I just leave that at 50 actually 75 sorry and yeah that's looking pretty good right, uh, right there with a bit of a darker background that'll actually look nice I'll just make it a little bit darker so I'm gonna put the brightness to 5 8 sorry <laughs> Yeah, so that, like, as you can see there, that's looking really, really nice. Um, so that's nine minutes. That's actually all right. So another thing I like to do sometimes, just if I want to vary it up a little bit, I come over to Bevel and Emboss and click on that. Turn off Use Global Light. Put the angle at 90. And now I'm just going to put the highlight mode and the shadow mode all the way up and put them both on normal just while I tamper with this a bit just to try and find what I want to do exactly so you're going to put the depth to about 250 and you move the size you move the size up until you see that there's like a nice glow going across the text just try and find the right place for that so um, I'm actually going to put the bottom angle to about 15 maybe 
So it's all trial and error pretty much with this kind of stuff. So yeah, you're going to put the uh, depth to a thousand and you put the soften all the way up and you just muck around with the sizes. So for me, 90 looks alright and soften 16, depth a thousand. Put shadow mode all the way down. Actually, leave it up all the way. Put highlight mode and change that to overlay and then change the opacity to 25. And then with shadow mode, change the opacity to about 5. So if you click on that, you can see it doesn't make too much difference, it just gives it a bit more definition, in my opinion. But um, I'm just going to show you guys how you can change the color quickly. What you do is you click on gradient overlay, because that's pretty much done now. I'm just going to show you how to do this. And click on the first far left color. And then all you have to do is slide the bar here. And as you can see on the top there, the H is on 0. So if you want to do a... a like the color, I'm gonna just go for a blue. So if you go there, you see 210 is pretty much a good color for blue. So you go 210, click on the next one. On the top, you go 210. On the next one, click on that, go 210. And then on the last one, do the exact same thing, obviously, 210. So um, yeah, that's a really good way to do that, I figured. And once you add some color correction on the end and stuff, it really does uh, bring out a nice look. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, please like the video. It does mean a lot. And um, I don't even know if that's just tutorial or right. I'm pretty sure it does, but just look wrong. Yep. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later. Uh, leave a like if you liked. I'm pretty sure I already said that. Comment asking or um, requesting like new tutorials. That helps me a lot. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching and sup.